Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to the vlog. Today we are actually here at one of our rental properties and we are regrouting the floor as well as filling some cracks in the tile. So that's what we're up to today. While we let it dry, we're probably going to hang out at the Starbucks to let it dry. And yeah, so I'm going to get started on the grout and then my husband's going to do the toilet. All right, so finished all of the grout and the cracks in the tile. I think we did get the wrong stuff for the cracks. I don't know. It says that we have to wait two hours for it to dry out. So dry out. I don't know. Be done. Whatever. So we packed our lunch. We're going to head over to Fortescue and we're going to have some lunch because we only have an hour and a half left and Fortescue is about 20 minutes from here. So between drive time and lunch, the floor should be dry by the time we're done. All right, so we were driving around and we were just looking at houses for sale, stuff like that or whatever. And this house is actually go and show. So all my realtor friends will know. That means you can just go see them because I have my realtor's license. We decided to come and stop and look at this house. So come tour this house with us. <laughs> Okay, so this is a little confusing, but right off of what we would do as more of a study, we're not really into the TV thing, there's a door here, and this is actually the whole master. So this is where you would put your bed. And then as you see here, it's kind of just a hallway space. I don't really know what you would do with that, but over here is your closet which there's a lot of space it's a funky outline but you could you could do a lot with that and we're downsizing our clothes anyway so yeah. but then in here there is the master ensuite which has a beautiful shower so up the stairs we had one room and then it looks like a second bedroom and another beautiful full bathroom. This bathroom is actually really long. Very lovely. All right, so there's another set of steps and there's a fireplace in here and another full bathroom. So two masters, two masters sure. This one has the weird attic thing which I'm not a fan of but it also has this little pocket which would be great for closet space so yeah two masters but it looks like there's more mystery steps and yeah you are right honey that's just the attic so that's it so you have to duck through Kind of like crouched down to get up here, which I was not going to do, but my husband convinced me to come up here. And as you can see, there's a lot of space up here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that is officially it. All right, so we got home. We picked up my husband's truck and he actually got called in for work, so... It is what it is. I'm gonna jump in the shower, get cleaned up, put on some pajamas, probably just make dinner, watch a movie, and go to bed. Good morning. Fast forward. It is not Saturday. It's Sunday. And yesterday, I forgot already. What did we do? We Oh, yesterday morning I had an appointment, so I prepped for that, headed out to that. It actually went pretty well, so 
Ryan that Zach goes through and then when I got home we did laundry we cleaned up the room kind of got things in order a little bit more for the reset on Monday sorry it's really bouncy but we're running late to church so yeah I think yesterday we had dinner no we had lunch at like three and then we took a nap and didn't wake up until like seven so we didn't have dinner I'm feeling a little hungry are you hungry I'm a little hungry, but we're headed to church. It's like 7 a.m. I'm serving on production as switcher, and my husband is on the production team. He's not technically serving today, but we'll see if there's any like spots that need help or anything. But yeah, that's it. Get the captives free. You set us free from the bounds of sin and slavery. We are heaven-bound children of the Most High God. Father, let us walk with our heads held high. Let us walk confidently before you. Let us never look at an obstacle and say, oh, I don't know how it will be done. But let us be reminded that we serve a God of the impossible and nothing is impossible with you. And so, Father, may we be a light into a dark world this week. Go with us as we go. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And a faithful church said, We're gonna try another Monday reset video. I told you guys we're gonna keep doing this until we perfect our Monday reset routine. So we changed around our morning routine. So I'm also gonna have to update our morning routine video. But basically, at 5 a.m., now we're getting up and we're going to the gym. We just discussed this. We did not get out of the house until like 5 10 and when we were like up the street around 5 11 so we got to the gym around 5 15 to 5 20 somewhere in that range and then we left the gym at like 5 45 so we're only in there for like 20 25 minutes max anyway so we need to perfect that getting our workout sets out at nighttime packing like our shoes our socks having everything just ready for us to roll out of bed take a leak and go to the gym so Yes, now it's 6 o'clock. We are taking a little detour because we had to hit the Walmart to do some returns. It's reset day, so that's typically the day that we do returns anyway, but that's not my phone. But on a normal 
like daily routine at 6 a.m. We'll be starting our NLT 90 day New Testament streetlights Bible app plan. If you don't know about that, be sure to drop down below in the description. You can click the link to join at any time. We're just reading the New Testament together in a big group. It's really great. We get to talk to each other, chat to each other, share insights from what we're learning, what we're reading on a day-to-day -day basis over the next 90 days or at this point, it's probably 60, maybe? I don't know. There's still time, so feel free to join anytime. With that being said, we're just waiting for the Walmart to open, which it should be open now. And then after we're done the NLT, we will do our Romans Bible study. So if you haven't checked out that video, be sure to check that out. And then we'll start our reset. We'll have a quick breakfast. And I'll talk you guys through what we do as we're doing it. I'm going to try to do this one a little bit better than the last time. And actually talk to you guys through what we're doing, what that looks like, and all the processes and things like that. So we'll see. But let's go to Walmart. All right. So we're going to work on our budget now. And obviously, I'm not going to show you guys the screen because, you know, income, all the things. But I'll just talk through you guys what we're doing and then kind of just fast forward through us, you know, doing the things. But first, we look at our debit accounts and if we've had any, sorry, that was loud, and if we've had any income, so. So I made a spreadsheet that, or actually I just adjusted it. I got a spreadsheet from, um, what was it called? Yeah, I'm broken. I'm I was broke and now I'm not. I modified their spreadsheet to work for our needs and things like that. <clears throat> but with that being said, it does tell you for every dollar that you've earned, Every dollar has to be accounted for, so all the lines have to equate to zero. Every dollar has a place to go, whether that's spending, groceries, whatever. And then in a separate column that I added, we track what we actually use so that it's not just a budget of this is what we should do, but actually keeping account of what we're doing. And we do this every week so that we can make sure that we're not spending too much. And I'm seeing Spotify hit, which is not good. have shared accounts a lot of our accounts are linked we have separate credit cards and that's just more of a credit thing as far as if we share all of our credit cards and we put a lot of money on one credit card instead of another both of our credit scores will be down so we do keep two separate credits like accounts so that we can kind of leverage that but yeah they are all mixed up together Another thing we do is go through all of our credit purchases and we will put it in the different corresponding lines. So for instance, anything for Amazon will either go in our spending line, sometimes our grocery line, and then most of the time our supplies line for things that we need around the house. You know, go to Amazon. All right, so took a little break, had a little interruption, but now we're almost at the end. So any money that we have that we call our snowball, we use to pay off our debt to just snowball that. So I'm trying to log into our credit account, but basically like I was saying, any money that we have that's extra or that's not accounted for or that we didn't use by the end of the month, We'll use that to pay down all of our debts in order of what has the highest interest rate. And another Monday reset flop. So we got the budget done. 
We got the schedule done. We made a menu for the week. And what else did we do? We made a grocery list for the week. But other than that, we did not get any cleaning done. I went next door to grab some fresh eggs and ended up spending like three hours just chit chatting. And then we made dinner. We had some steak for dinner, which was really good. But yeah, we didn't get to cleaning. We didn't get to groceries. So, like I said, I'm just going to keep trying it. We're going to keep working it out. I think that it did help that we preemptively did some laundry and stuff like that. So things weren't that bad. But I do want to get a little bit better about staying on schedule on our Monday resets, but life is always lifing, things come up, stuff happens, you get off track, and yeah, so I will show you guys what is on the list for a Monday reset. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys do for your weekly resets, what that looks like, and I will be trying again next week, but until then, be blessed, and I'll see you guys next time.